We introduce inequality proof techniques with mathematical induction, which is a powerful tool in mathematical proofs regarding statement on integers. In this case, we claim n greater or equal to 3. We have n raised to n plus 1 power is also greater than n plus 1 raised to nth power. Now, you may have seen some math teaser questions about 99 over 100 power versus 100 raised to 99th power. Which one is bigger? Or 2021 versus 2022. Or some cases like a 3 as a base, like a 3 raised to 2022nd power versus 2022 raised to third power, right? So we have the answer here. We just need to prove, right? So we claim that this is the statement we want to prove using the induction. Remember, the structure of the mathematical induction is that uh, you're going to start with base cases, right? So base cases, and then you have induction step. Now, in our case, the basic step here is going to be n equal to 3, yeah? So let's check. So when n equal to 3, 3 to the fourth power is 81, 4 to the third power is smaller, 64. So the base case is proven. Now, the induction step. For the induction step, we assume that the statement, in this case, the inequality is true for n equal k. All right? So we need to prove that the statement, which is the inequality, also true for n equal k plus 1. That's the key of the induction step. From the induction assumption, you prove, you know, moving forward one step forward, and you know, one n equal k plus one is also holds. All right, let's do that. So in this case, this is the assumption, right? The statement is true when n equal to k. What we need is we want to show when k plus one, in this case, the inequality you know, is, is, is this one we want to show, all right? Again, let's do some analysis. So we we know the first one, we try to prove the next one, all right? That's our task. So here I claim that it is surfaces to show this inequality holds because why? If this is equation one, this is inequality two, I can just do the one multiply two, that will give the thing that we would like to prove. Now, remember, when you have a over b greater than c over d, or positive numbers, right, greater than zero, this is actually holds if and only if the cross product, in this case, ad greater than bc greater than zero, all right? So this is exactly what we need to do. We need to do the cross product here. When you do the cross product, what do we have here? we need to prove in this one, which is a cross product. Of course, when you look at this, this is like a power. This is k plus 1 square, and then k plus 1's power. Greater than here is going to be k square plus k, right? Raised to k plus 1's power. This is what we need to do. And let's see what uh, we need, OK? This one, of course, is obvious because k squared plus 2k plus 1 is greater than k squared plus k, right? Because k is what? Greater or equal to 3. So this cancels, and um, this, you know, k plus 1 is always, um, you know, greater, um, you know, and if you hear k, this would be k plus 1 greater than 0, of course, always true. All right, so in other words, we have the proof just go backwards, right? So let's review. So in the induction step, since this is obvious, right? So we're going to raise that to the k's power, k plus 1's power, right? That's obvious. We're going to rewrite it, yeah, here as this, yeah? OK, now this cross product, remember? We're going to turn that into fraction part, right? Mm -hmm. So here, we turn this into fraction. This is, a, this is a true. Now, remember, we also have the induction assumption. Assumption is that this is true. So I have equation number one, I have equation number two. I multiply them together. And then this would, uh, you know, some term will cancel here. And then you have this one. This exactly means 
the theorem holds when n equals k plus 1. This completes the induction steps because base is checked and the induction step is done. All right. Now we're going to look at alternative method. Okay. So in a previous video, we covered some basic logarithm inequality. Over there, we claim that this sequence is strictly increasing as n getting bigger and bigger, but they are bounded by e. In other words, everything here is less than e. All right, e of course we know that is 2.7 something here is less than 3. In our case, we care about n greater than 3, so it's less than n when n is greater or equal to 3, right? So if you do that, you multiply n to the nth power on both sides, what you get is n plus 1 raised to the n is smaller than yeah n times n raised to the n power, which is n plus 1's power, right? So, so we proved the inequality like that, all right? So check out the previous video, but uh, here, you know, this is from previous video, right? And then you multiply and, you know, n to the nth power on both sides, yeah? And you get this, which is exactly what uh, we're trying to prove, okay? So with that, we have the solution to the math teaser question earlier. So anything, the power is greater, the number is greater, okay? You always go for that. And this one is also greater, much greater than the other one, all right? So this is just uh, an example of mathematical induction, but uh, you can use this to prove many other inequalities. All right, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.